Welcome back to another math video. Class is now in session. It's like every day, every day, every day. So this one today involves a shape. What do I mean? Take a look at this question. What percent of the figure below is shaded? Hold on. Let me get it right here. What percent of this figure below is shaded? So when you look at this um, diagram here, it's giving you the choices of, is it 50% of it shaded, 65, 75, or 80%? So percentage are fractions as well. I see them as fractions because you can also um, translate them into fractions back and forth from percent to fractions. So that would involve me splitting up this shape into equal parts then. So then what I'm gonna do, looks like some type of flag, right? But anyway, <laughs> let's extend. What if I extended this line all the way from that corner to this corner, right? And what if I extended this line all the way from that bottom corner to this top corner, right? So we have four equal parts here, but it can be broken down more. So what if I put this vertical line down the middle, right? And then I do a horizontal line across the middle also, right? So now look at that. Now that's as many equal parts as I can separate it into. And how many equal parts do I have there right now? Well, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how much of it is shaded? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six shaded parts, right? Out of the total, remember the bottom of a fraction, the denominator is always the total. So there's six eighths of this shape that's shaded. But hold on, Miss Burrell, the question is asking for percent. Okay, okay, I hear you. So there's six eighths here, right? So then what we're gonna do, obviously, with fractions, we ha always have to um, take our fractions down to the lowest, okay? So what we're gonna do here is, is six eighths right now. So we have to reduce it, right? So what times table can go into six and eight? So it's the two times table. So because it's the two times table, we're gonna divide both the numerator and the denominator by that times table. So we're gonna divide six divided by two and the eight divided by two. Okay, let's give my answers please. Six divided by two, what is that? Or what times two is six? So that's a three. And what times two is eight? Eight divided by two is what? What times two is eight? So that's a four, right? Okay. All right, Miss Burrell, that's three fourths. That still doesn't give me any of the percentages here, does it? All right, okay, I'm, 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 still, I'm still going, I'm not finished yet. That means, my friends, we have to convert this three quarters into percent. Now, if you think of money, three quarters is a, is a good fraction actually, because three quarters in money is 75 cents, right? Okay, so then if three quarters is 75 cents, then three quarters is also 75%. Ta -da! So the answer is C. Did you all get that with me? Okay, now let me see. Let me prove to you then, because, you know, suppose I didn't give you that, um, that example and say that three quarters is 75%. You could also divide the denominator into the numerator to get the answer as well. So let me just let me just prove my answer further. Can four go into three? Yes or no? Okay. No, right? So then you put a zero on there. Now it's 30. How many times does four go into 30? You know, you have to know your multiplication for this. So it's seven times because seven times four is 28. How far are you away from 30? I am two away. Right, so that's a remainder. Four can't go into two, obviously, so you have to put a zero on it. Four into 20 goes five times. There's my proof. 75%, the answer is C. There you go. Any questions, please ask below. 
If you have another strategy, please share. And thank you for watching. How did you like the video? Let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in another math video. Class dismissed.